to that time of night, ladies and gentlemen. We're on our last one, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, I come from a West Midlands or South Staffordshire, depending from what angle you're looking at it from, a um, little village called Great Worley. And um, the most famous thing that has ever happened in Great Worley, isn't it typical, is rather gruesome. <laughs> Um, um, if anyone's read the the the, um, the book Arthur and George, that's um, it's all about this thing that happened in the turn of the um, eight, um, 19th, 20th centuries, where Georgie Dalgy, the son of the local vicar, was basically victimised by some locals who took against him, and. Um, Basically, they were going around um, mutilating livestock and they were blaming him and he got arrested and um, it became really famous um, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle got involved and came over and he deduced in a Sherlock Holmes kind of fashion that there was no way that Georgie Dalgy could possibly be going around in the middle of the night mutilating livestock because he couldn't see he had really thick glasses so there was no way that he would be able to see in the dark and he was he was let off so I thought to myself shall I write a song all about the most famous thing and gruesome thing that's ever happened in Great Worley or shall I write this one instead <laughs> the great plague of 66 that the sisters did flee and northwards there he travelled till they came to Worley in the engine and they resided and made their plans clear we will build ourselves a great grand hall and settle down right here two sisters